talk to me. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot up at the cross on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. Yeah, yeah. I open the page, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot up at the cross on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Yeah, never, neither let the wise man, the mighty man glory in his might. Because these people out here think they strong, think they this, they Goliath. Don't, don't glorify them. Go ahead. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Yeah, trust not in oppression, because if riches increase, it's by the Lord. So you can't set your heart upon earthly riches. You got to build your spiritual riches in heaven, right? You, you agree with that, right, God? But let him that glory, glory, glory in uh, this. Yeah, glory in this. So if you want to glory in something, you got to glory in this right here. Says, let me show you that. That he understand it. That he understand it. Go ahead. That's that revelation you want. Because it's more than just reading the Bible. You got to pray to the Lord to give you understanding. Because millions of people pick up the Bible and read it every day. But you just read. You got to have that understanding. So the Lord got to give you that revelation and put that Holy Spirit on you to understand it, right? Go ahead. That he understand it and know it me. Uh, that he understand it from what? And know it me. That's what we got to glory in. Knowing, knowing the Lord. Worshiping him in truth and spirit. Like you said in the so-called Old Testament, they just bring their animal sacrifices. That ain't that ain't truth in the spirit. Because you know you're doing wicked, but you're like, oh, I got an animal. I'm just going to bring that. Nah, that ain't truth. Let me show you how you're supposed to worship the Lord. Watch this. The book of John chapter 4 and verse 22. Uh -huh, go ahead. He worship, he know not what. We know what we worship. Yeah, we know who we worship. You know you worship right. You know that, don't you, go ahead. For salvation is of the Jews. God. Verse 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth. So we got to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So that's what we are here telling our people to do. Stop killing each other. Stop doing all this wickedness out here that's contrary to this Bible. Give me 1 Timothy 1 and 8. This is this, this, this what the laws of the Lord for them. The word of the Lord, this is for them. You know, basically direct ourselves in a righteous path instead of the wicked path to the left hand side. I, day in and day out, I see my people going down this. I, every time I'm on Instagram, RIP shirts, this and that, all this. I'm like, man, I'm tired of my people going through this. So that's why I'm glad the Lord put the Spirit on me to understand this. Watch this. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, and verse 8. Go ahead. But we know that the law is good uh -huh. if a man use it lawfully. If a man lose it lawfully, go ahead. Knowing this, go ahead. that the law is not made for a righteous man. Yeah, the law is not made for a righteous yeah, man. And a, and a big percentage of our people, we not righteous out here because the most high is the only one that's righteous. Go ahead. For the lawless and disobedient. For the lawless and disobedient. You know, just like if you got a child and you got children, if they disobedient, you give them chores, you tell them certain things they gotta do to, you know, be in your house because you're, you're their mother, go ahead. For the ungodly, for the ungodly God. and for sinners, for sinners. All right, that's what, didn't, the, didn't the Lord say he came for sinners? All right, he, ain't come, he ain't come for them that's well, he came for them that's sick. And a lot of our people sick in the head, mentally sick, all type of things. Go ahead. For unholy, for unholy. And, profane. and profane, read on. For murderers, for, of, for what? Murderers of fathers, for murderers of fathers. I was just looking on the news the other day, um, the dude in Georgia got to shoot he, his dad ain't want him to bring the gun in the house. He said, you got to take that out. So he start, he pulled his gun out and started shooting at his daddy. So we got murders of fathers out here, you know what I'm saying? So that's what this law for, to put our people in the right path. It's the, the lost sheep, you know, the Christ said he came for the lost sheep. Go ahead. Oh, God. And murderers of mothers. And murderers of mothers. I, I just seen, again, just in Harlem, this um, dude got mad because his mother was telling him something. He killed his mother. But if we knew in the law of God not to do that, we wouldn't be committing all these iniquities we're doing. That's why. Give me 2 Timothy 2 and 9. Let me show you that. 2 and 19. Look at 2 Timothy 2 and verse 19. Go ahead. 
Nevertheless, the foundation of God. Yeah, the foundation of God. You gotta have that foundation of God. You believe that, right? God. Standing sure, standing sure, God. Having this seal, having this seal, God. The Lord knoweth them that are His. Don't the Lord know who He is, right? Don't you feel like you want His? You know that in your spirit, right? That's right, huh, God? And let everyone that name it the name of Christ. Let everyone that name it the name of Christ. Like you said, if somebody came with a gun in your head, you would you would die for Christ. So everyone that name it the name of Christ, God, depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. That's all we're trying to get our people to do through the Spirit of the Lord. Because, like, give me Amos 7 and 11. Before this, I wasn't thinking about out here teaching the Bible. I was regular out here trying to be a rapper, trying to do this and that. I wasn't thinking about coming out here, you know, getting the wisdom of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But through the Spirit of the Lord, now I'm out here edifying my people and bringing them to the knowledge and bringing fish and being a fish of men. That's what the Lord planted me on earth to be. Watch this. Give me show you this. 7 and 11. Watch Look of Amos chapter 7 and verse 11. For thus Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethlehem, for it is the king's chapel. And it is the king's court. Then answered Amos and said, Amos, Amos answered and said this, the same thing I'm answering right now. To Amaziah, I was no prophet. I was no what? I was no prophet. Amos said he wasn't no prophet. Amos grew up, he didn't think he was going to be, he didn't think he was going to have a book in the word of the Lord. He 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 didn't grow up knowing he was going to be a prophet. Neither was I a prophet's son. Neither was I a prophet's son. My daddy wasn't out here prophet son, so I grew up a regular person. Going for a rap dream, trying to be in the NBA, go ahead. But I was a hermit. Uh -huh, but I was a hermit, go ahead. And, and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. Go ahead, watch this. And the Lord took me as I followed thee. Yeah, the Lord. The Lord took us and as we followed thee. So through the Spirit of the Lord, that's why we are here. We ain't not here for our help. We are here because we love our people. And most um, importantly, we love the Heavenly Father. So we got to preach His word. So it's like you tell you, with the faith of a mustard seed, hey, nothing impossible. So we out here teaching our people the faith of the Lord and being fishers of men, you know what I'm saying? And telling them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because that's, hey, like my brother brought out earlier, you need Luke 13 and um, 3. Give me Luke 13 and 3. Let me show you this. I know you got to get your kids ready. So that's, that's basically our message is out here. Because we, we didn't grow up thinking we was going to be out here teaching the Bible. But through the Spirit of the Lord, we out here doing what, you know, he commanded us to do. We thought our life was going to be different, but it went in more of a righteous path. We, we thank the Lord every day that he don't take the Holy Spirit from us. And we be out here doing wickedness again. You know what I'm saying? Luke 13 and 3. Yeah, I tell you nay. Uh, the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you nay. But except ye repent. Except ye repent. So we out here just what Christ was telling his people. Y'all better repent. Telling them to repent. Stop doing all the wicked. What he tell the woman in John 8? Um, go sin, um, go sin no more. Telling them to repent. Go ahead. Ye shall all likewise perish. Ye shall all likewise perish. So, you know, through the Spirit of the Lord, if you don't want to perish, if you want to have a hedge and have them angels covering you through your walk every day, you got to repent and rehearse the righteous acts and have a faith in who the word called Christ. His name, Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? He did, you know, he came for the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got, that's why you got that zealous spirit because it's in the Bible that the Israelites is going to be like that. That's how we are. We're just trying to teach our people the right way. You know what I'm saying? We got to be zealous. But not according to knowledge. So we just out here trying to educate our people more and more. Like you said, you got humility. If I can sharpen you on something, it will take me. You know what I'm saying? Um, the book of Romans, chapter 7, and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. The law is spiritual. So all is spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Every every walk in life we got is spiritual. You can feel it. Like you said, you feel something the Holy Spirit wants you to do. Get it this person. Get it do this and that. Go this way. That's the spirit of the Lord. Hopefully he directed your steps and righteousness. Give me Proverbs 16 and 9. But I am carnal sold under sin. But I'm carnal sold under sin. So that's why I say pray because the, the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we in this flesh, we're going to go through basically a war every day. So that's why we open that. Our flesh going to win through the spirit of the Lord. He delivers us out of any temptation that we get. You know what I'm saying? Watch me. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 9. A man's heart devises his way. A man's heart devises his way. So we might make wake up thinking, oh, I'm going to go do this right now. I'm going to go do this. We probably have a whole plan. Watch this. 
But the Lord directed his steps. The Lord directed his steps. So the Lord put the spirit on us and we, we can we can make some up, thinking we're gonna do something, but it's up for the Lord to which way he's gonna direct us. And we pray that he direct us in the in the righteous path and don't lead us in the temptation of you know sinning and going against him because we don't want to perish. So that's what we are here teaching, and that's what the brother basically out here teaching. Bring bring our people back to commandment to the commandments and having the faith. That's what it's all about, because without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about their faith and believing. And he that believes on the Lord, take heed to the commandments. Just like um, like you got a woman or you got a man or something, like to show you love him, you do, you know, actions, you might do this and that for him. Oh, baby, my baby wanted the new shoes. Let me go get this for him. Let me go do this. The same thing with the Lord. We love him. So with certain disciplinary actions, we're going to show to prove our love for him. That's right. Be right. Discipline. That, that's you know, right. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I think this in Wisdom and Solomon six and something. Love is discipline. If you love anything, you're gonna be disciplined to it, like boxing, playing sports. If you love it, you're gonna go out there and practice it every day, because that's that discipline. That's the same discipline we try to show to the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know what I'm saying? That's why we come out here and do this. So yeah, that's basically that sums it up. That's what we are here for. Tell our people. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, that's basic. That's all he was trying to get to. Us, our people, to keep the commandments because our people don't know that. They out here being wicked, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them, they don't stop like you just stopped to hear. Give me, um, I'm, I can go all night messing around with this Bible. Give me John 20 and, um, 20, give me John 21 and like 18. This is, this is another way we love to show that we love the Lord. Watch this. If you love 21 and like 18. The book of John, chapter 21, verse 17. Go ahead. He said unto him the third time. The third time, go ahead. Simon. Simon. Simon Peter, go ahead. Son of Jonas. Son of Jonas, read on. Lovest thou me? Lovest thou me? Do he asked Peter, you, you, you love me? Do you Christ act that's what Christ asked Peter? Go ahead. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, uh -huh. Lovest thou me? Uh -huh. Lovest thou me? Go ahead, watch this. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Lord, thou knowest all things, uh -huh. thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah. So Peter, like, Lord, you know I love you. You know what kind of question is that? Yeah, I love you. Watch this, go ahead. Jesus said unto him, yeah, Christ said unto him, go ahead. Feed my sheep. Do what? Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. So that's the action we come out and show that we love the Lord to come and feed the sheep. All right, and you wanted the sheep, right? You want to be led by that shepherd, right? All right, then. So that's what we out here for, to show how we love the Lord. That's all we're about, you know what I'm saying? So, we got one more? Okay, he got one more. He got one more. It really goes wrong with what he just said, right? Because the Lord called Jesus, he told Peter to feed my sheep, right? Now watch this. is the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. But he answered and said, it is written. Man should not live by bread alone. Man should not live by bread alone. And they can go into being carnal thinking. Money gonna save you thinking. Oh, this and that and not building them spiritual on your spiritual riches of heaven. So a man should not live by bread alone. Go ahead. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. By every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Because all this is written so we can direct our life in a righteous path. The Lord, you know, left this um trademark down for us. Our deity that we can, you know, treat our kids you know, the right way to rob and steal from each other. How to do something. Romans 15 and 4. So man should not live off bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The Lord ordained these holy men to write these scriptures for us right now. Look at this trouble this time. People die here. The work is wax and works and works. That's why Christ said, the love of many shall wax works. That's why we see like back when our grandparents were living, they went as much so called black on black crime and all this wickedness we're doing. They let you know we get to the light of the light. That's why a lot of this wickedness is going on. So that's why we really are getting to the light of the light. We better repent because Christ coming back soon. You know what I'm saying? Like a thief in the night, right? I got the book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, whatsoever things was written aforetime, this is written aforetime, before we came, we, we weren't thought about it, right? We're written for our learning. Written for our learning, go ahead. That we, through patience, through patience, having that patience, even when you're going through something, you know what I'm saying, something going on in your life, you gotta have patience. You can't be hasty, you can't, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have faith in knowing that the Lord is gonna deliver you out of that situation. But a lot of people, if you ain't got that faith, as soon as some calamities come, you're gonna be ah, everywhere. Oh Lord, why is this happening to me? Why not? Why, why shouldn't it happen to you? You should want to be chastened by the Lord. That means he deal with you as sons. He got 
and comfort of the scriptures. We come for right here. This help you when you're going through certain things in life. This will help you right here. Is this the word of the Lord? We might have hope. We might have hope. That's that faith right there. That's that hope we got that the Lord gonna deliver us and we gonna get out of this. It ain't gonna be like this always. So we gotta have that faith. So that's what it's all about. All right. And that's what we gotta teach you, man. Okay, nice to meet you, man. Okay, okay. There you go. All praise the sister. All praise. All right, well, thank you. I want to say shalom. Shalom.